Yeah! Club. Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of The Yak Club. And today, it's going to be a little bit of a different episode, because it's just me, Sam. Um, Hive Swap came out today, and everyone else sleeps during the day and works during the night. And I'm the only one who doesn't do that at the moment. And I want to get this Hive Swap video out as soon as possible. So it is just me playing Hive Swap at the moment. Um, hopefully there's enough stuff going on, like enough to read and everything like that to keep your, you know, entertainment, things like that. I'm going to try real hard this episode to just keep you all entertained, but... I want to start this episode off by saying I'm going in completely blind besides like the couple trailers. I I guess everyone is, but that's besides the point. I like I know the kids' names, I know like the two trolls that they showed, and like I, I've seen this little part because I played a little bit earlier today, so I guess not completely blind, that was kind of a lie. But I mean, I'm going in I don't know. I'm just fucking excited for this, you know, I, I was on the Wild Homestuck ride for seven years, uh, been waiting for this game for like, I think five years at this point maybe, but I'm just really excited for it. So let's just sit back, relax, and enjoy some, enjoy some basically good old fashioned Homestuck. Uh, it's Hive Swap. Alright, your name is, sorry, you're gonna need a minute. Okay, you gave yourself a minute to freak out because of the monster. The thing with all the legs and the teeth. Uh, the one you barely got away from. Minutes up, though. Take a deep breath. Let the uncertainty slip away into toothy, arm-waggling darkness. And focus on what you know. Your name is Joey Claire. You live just outside of a town of Huntswitch. And you are, in no particular order, a puzzle solver, a semi-orphan, a dancer of multiple schools, an aspiring veterinarian, and a big sister. Speaking of... That monster, the one that barely missed you by eating you alive, the only thing you're thinking about right now, might be headed back outside where your little brother is. You gotta warn him. Alright. Uh, oops. This is a raised cushion platform where you spend several hours a day unconscious and hallucinating, usually while the other majority of people on the continent are also doing the same thing. Alright. So this is a point-of-click adventure game the style of... Homestuck, basically. Um, for those of you who don't, don't know what Homestuck is, Homestuck is a uh, webcomic that appeared, I think, in probably 2000... I, I don't want to say anything in case I get it wrong, but like it appeared way, way back when, and it has over 8,000 pages. It's amazing. It gets real good. Read it. But we're not here for Homestuck. We're here for Hive Swap and Joey and her cute little face. So it looks like there's a window over here. Let's go check and see what my... Yeah, there's a light flashing. Let's go check that out. Uh, you briefly muse on the metaphorical significance of the flashing light. What could it represent? The past? The future? America? It's your stupid brother. You need to get in touch with him. Alright, so... What do we have around here? Nope. That we could get in touch with a brother. Uh, you really like this post, you can't really say why. It's pretty, and you like the expression on the ballerina's face. You wonder if this is what it's like when adults go to museums to look at actual art. You hope so. Let's... Uh... I don't see anything in there. Let's hop over here. Uh, what's this? Your walkie-talkie. Half the set. Your brother has the other one. Could come in handy. Awesome. Let's go ahead and grab that, then. Feels a little light. Uh-oh. Yep, no batteries. You remember the cannibalizing of the walkie-talkie when something else needed them, but you can't recall exactly what that something else was. There was a... a Simon board back here. Yeah. Let's look at it. You really get a charge out of this game. It's kind of bossy, though. Challenge it? Oh, that's right. That's where you put the walkie-talkie batteries. You'll just take them back now. Okay, one more game for good old times sakes first. Jude's probably fine. Okay, so we're playing Simon. Uh, start? Okay. Alright. Alright. 
Oop. Oh, looks like the green button isn't working. Well, nostalgia satisfied. Might as well scavenge the batteries. Cool. So we can probably combine them? Success! The walkie-talkie looks like works like a charm now. A charm with battery power. You feel pretty pleased with yourself. It would seem you just solved your first puzzle of many, on what is sure to be a sweeping adventure full of mysterious brain busters. And then again, putting batteries into thing isn't exactly solving a puzzle, you suppose. It isn't it is just overcoming a minor inconvenience that you created yourself, using mundane, widely available modern technology. You don't care though, you're counting on it. Alright, let's so use the walkie-talkie. Jude, you there? You are you alright? Yes. Been covertly sig uh, signaling status and requesting yours over. You mean the lantern? I don't know Morse code. Would never use such easily decipherable code, over. Enemy agents everywhere, over. Wait, un over. <laughs> Still unconfirmed, vis a vis, vi I don't know. Your condition following enemy serpent encounter, over. Please report bite status. And how many and how gross, over. I'm fine. I'm fine, no bites, you weirdo. But thank you for asking. It was a close one. Great, was worried, over. That reminds me, after I shut the door on it, I think I heard it clomping back down the stairs. I don't think you should leave your treehouse anytime soon. Might be headed back your way. No plans of leaving the current location yard, crawling with Cryptid Vanguard, over. Cryptid Vanguard? Missing big picture, Joey. Over. Okay, maybe a little less obtuse then. Purely defensive, posture technically suicidal. Monster likely just distraction. Could have obscured additional agents on approach, over. Do you mean like, more monsters are? Can't discuss on unsecured channel, can't be certain who's listening. But every evidence adds to Antares class conspiracy cascade, over. What? Over? <laughs> Relieved you're taking this seriously. Are you totally prepared to begin <laughs> to begin forward operations? No going back now, Joey. Over. I was making fun of you, Dweeb. I'm not going anywhere. Trust crucial <laughs> Trust crucial on the battlefield, Joey. <laughs> Hoping presence of monster has tipped equation over on tactical skepticism, over. I trust you. Okay, that's that's fair. Okay. What do I need to do now? Your current position is not secure. Lar <laughs> large yard facing windows. Location compromised to enemy. Situation rapidly deteriorating. Must abscond to attic, Joey. Over. The attic? Yes, the attic. Strong door. Well stocked with tactical material. Take a left out of beth bedroom. Go upstairs. Highest room in house. Over. I know where the attic is, Jude. It was just a weird suggestion. What else is new? More inescapable rambling from my treehouse bro uh, lunatic brother? Don't understand. You sound confused. Trying to help. Over. Look, just shut up, okay? I'll sneak over there, lock the door, and you can... Call the cops? Negative. <laughs> Must assume local law enforcement compromised. Oh, right. 911 blocked your number after all your prank calls. Drills, not pranks. Xenomorph incursion preparedness drills. Look. Failed miserably at Fat Cat Xenomorph collaborators on Haunt Switch PD. Jude. <laughs> on our own. As house, as a species, over. Jude, I'm gonna go to the stupid attic, okay? I'm sorry for being mean. Do you have your weapon over? Sure don't. Why would I keep that thing around? Serpent swarming everywhere, over. You want me to fight them? With a flashlight? Don't blame you for being nervous with high concentration of serpent presence. Must be brave. Your brother believes in you and knows you can't beat the serpents, over. Stop saying serpents. Do you recall where your weapon is, over? I don't. Yeah, it's in the closet. Understood. All set then, over. No, I mean the hall closet. Crap, over. <laughs> yeah, well, I guess I'll have to talk, take your word about this. You, uh, you, are you sure about all this, right? Absolutely, extremely certain. Over. Over and out, squirt. Okay. Um. So I guess let's go to the hallway? Okay. Uh. Let's go ahead and mark something on the calendar. It's the 11th of November. Today started off just like any other day, with another sunrise and the sound of songbirds going hog wild out there in the trees. But the songs have all but stopped. And now, there's something else going hog wild out there. You don't know what it is, but it ain't birds, and it sure as, ain't, uh, and it sure as heck ain't hogs. Right. 
Let's, you don't want to leave without whatever could be your last words in your diary. Exciting stuff happens to you once you was a blue you're excited okay and no you're definitely not stalling for excuses to avoid going out and facing that beast that makes sense seems like fun to fight that beast i wouldn't want to do it but but all right uh right it's locked you have to gain access to your long buried recently buried secrets you'll have to use the diary key uh where did you put your diary key, Joey? Uh... I don't see a diary key. This is Sir Bappy Pawswater, your beloved manthro chap. You tend to his fussy whims and needs when you need trouble to imagine what they might be. What a daring dream to combine of the finest qualities of the animal kingdom with the nobility of humanimals. Wait, you mean humanity. Anyway, Sir Pappy Paul's water will be happy to tend to his own fussy ones for a while. You've got a lot of crap on your plate right now. Okay. Uh, diary key. Let's just change. You can try on some new clothes, but what's a style montage without at least one party offering compulsory reaction shots for each outfit? Who's going to give you an affirming head nod when you finally nail it? There are important things to consider before you carelessly plunge headlong into a style montage. Um, let's check the computer. Your modem always makes a mighty racket logging on. You're probably not sure you're right playing hallways, surface sites right now. It's not like this much new to see anyway. You're sure that Jude would have let you know if anyone was... I bring your sights. Uh, let's turn on the light, maybe. Yeah. Uh, these several racers above her. Oh, um, I have no idea where this key could be. Let's. Oh, walkie-talkie. Notice you haven't changed position. Over. Yeah, I want to write my diary before I go, just in case, I guess. Grim but admirable. We'll maintain general hallmark of espionage game. Proud of you, sis. Over and out. Okay. Oh, uh, nope. That's not. Yeah, but I don't know where to find the key, though. I'm probably looking, like, right at it, and I'm just super stupid. Uh. You know what? Maybe in this dresser right here. No. Whoa. Is it? She's since been gone, used to been less, less and less a paw over the years. Guess it had greener pastures to move on to, or bluer beauties. Aww. Hello, girl there. She's destined for big things. Big hopes, big fears, big worries, big loneliness. Now hold on, pull yourself together. What would your mom say if she knew you were thinking like that? You really wish you knew- That's sad. That's real sad. So I guess in the canon of this game, uh, Joey's supposed to be Jake's daughter? Maybe the hand function is currently disabled, I won't do it again, try to use it for now. Okay, so it's either daughter or granddaughter, maybe, but it's real weird to think that, you know, Jake's not, oh, that's weird, uh, you know, Jake's not dating Dirk, like uh, I wanted him to. Oh, the dog, poor puppy, what if that icky snaky thing hurt her? Well, you'd make your building, ah, uh, you'd make your budding veterinary skills to patch her up and make it all better, but you'd also be very angry. Right now, she doesn't seem to want to come out of her doghouse. You don't blame her. <sighs> okay. Let's see. What's this? Green ball? Beanbags are making a big comeback lately. It beats sitting on the floor, and that's all you can really ask of a beanbag. Uh, video games. Your, pro your prodigious collection of titles for your console's hungry cartridge shaped mouth. All the best ones are here. Well, all the ones you happen to own are here. You can spend all day listening to them. There's Busby, there's mentioning Busby made you feel a little queasy, so you think you'll stop there. You might go lie down for a bit, actually. Huh? Let's do that, then? Uh, no. What's this thing? Search it. You reach inside the expectant plush canine, and puppy surprise is having puppies. Oh! This is weird. <laughs> okay. She actually came with five puppies, but you gave but you gave two away to make room for other stuff. You don't know anybody else who got five. Some kid at school got four in hers, and she wouldn't shut up about it for a week. You're not one to brag, but yeah. 
You walked in with a little spring in your step for a while after birthing a quintet of pups. Maybe you, five puppy people, are just cut from a different cloth. Alright. Uh... Let's get this key. Collected the diary key from its plush hiding womb. While you're at it, think you should take a beautiful heirloom of your mom's clothes. Just a feeling a deep, inexplicable possible to ignore feeling. I don't... I don't trust that key. That key looks like Cherum Juju. And... I don't like it. Alright. Let's unlock this. You know... Unlock and open your diary. Nice. Juicy secrets here to come. Here you come. I'm sorry. Except they're just your boring secrets. So you don't care. Alright. Whoa! What's right in here? Maybe something from your past will shed some light on today's terror mysteries. Some little detail mentioned offhand and forgotten. The key kicking off a casual cascade of connections that terminates the catastrophe of snake monsters. April 13th. Aww, uh, I get it. I see it. You guys, you also get it. I'm being annoying, so I'll stop. Ho oh, hum! Nothing much happened today. I tried to make some new friends at school to maybe expand our social circle beyond just me and Jude's friends all the time. Wait, is it weird to call my brother's friends my social circle? Ah oh, well, you know what I mean, diary. I don't have any friends I can really call mine, so I'm just- Oh, Joey. I guess it's better than calling them my web ring. The kids at school are jerks, though. They called me a poser when I tried to talk to them about games I like and stuff. Between you and me, I think a bunch of the kids at my school might be evil. Jeez, I'm sounding all paranoid like my brother. They're just up to no good and I can feel it. Joey. June 12th, 1994. Dear Diary, Whew, first day of summer vacation. I can't wait to get a break from all those clowns at school. Sometimes I think what I really need is a vacation from humanity. Joey. October 25th, 1994. Dear Diary, I can't believe I haven't recorded an entry since the beginning of last summer. Needless to say, I've been back to school for a while now. Next summer can't come soon enough, frowny face. I came home to a drunk babysitter again. Sure is some quality adult supervision. We youngsters are getting around here, though. She means well enough. I haven't heard from Pa in weeks. Last we saw of him, he popped in the house to drop up some stupid mummies and globes or whatever, then skipped off to go on more adventures. What a bozo. Also, how lame is it that he made us call him Pa instead of Dad while we were growing up? I miss Mom. For ah, it's so sad. If this is going to be the last entry in your diary, then by gum, you're going to be scared. Uh, you're going to scare the bejesus out of whoever finds it, like your one snake chow. November 11, 1994. Dear Diary, forgive my hasty and nervous scribbling. I'm kind of scared, but maybe also a bit excited? Anyway, can't talk much now. There's a sly, cunning monster on the prowl, possibly hungry for kid meat, too, so I've got to... Okay, I don't have a darn clue what I'll do, but I'll fill, in... I'll fill you in later once I do it, Joey. Satisfied, you've done your duty vis a vis posterity in case the worst should happen you relock your diary and hide the key again safe and sound oh got something from jude if writing in your diary about tactics please share over i'm hanging up now not a phone over click dial tone can see you through the window you're making the sound with your mouth over and out <laughs> i i love that i love the like cute little homestuck humor and like just the humor in general. I, I really enjoy it. And like, I'm sure a lot of other people also enjoy it. Looks like the coast is clear for now. Better hurry to the hall closet and retrieve your weapon before the crafty old serpent, you mean snake, can get the drop on you. Uh? Let's go this way. Uh, I should probably answer Jude. So should I get my old weapon from the hall closet then head up to the attic, right? Affirmative. Also refrain from excess chatter. Over. Oh yeah, right. Bye. Could alert monsters. Over. Yeah, I got it. I'm going. Bye. Can't be too careful in espionage game, Joey. Silence. Golden. Over. Dude, <laughs> shut up. Remember one time on training mission I couldn't keep my trap shut? Oh boy, really landed us in a pickle. Over. <laughs> You've never had any training. I'm turning off the walkie. Bye. Over and click. <laughs> Alright. Let's exit here. That's the way to the attic. So let's head this way for hall closet, maybe? Yeah! Awesome. Let's open this up. Uh... 
You think back to before, back to when this closet door was shut. You had a reasonably good guess what was inside, but now, your guess is even more reasonable. Is it not her... Is that not her flashlight up there? I'm sorry. Mm. Things giving you the creeps, but you didn't stop from patching up Jackson and what you gripped with. <laughs> okay. I see the flashlight. Oh. Okay. Cool. Search. You can't search the box, but it's still up on that shelf. Uh. Well. Can I take this thing out of out from under the signless? No. Um. Let's equip it. You don't use guns. Let's look at it. It's just 50 feet away. Too bad you don't use guns. <sighs> all right. All right. All right. All right. Maybe use the light bright. Like. Oh. Hey, that's that's cute. All right, I'll stop messing around with that. Um, I'm not even plugged in, but there are at least nine possible light sources in your immediate area. So maybe you got lost in a typically well illuminated shuffle. Right. So look, box is probably the box of stuff you need, but you can't be hmm, what your next step should be. Actually, your tap shoes might be the solution to this problem. If you could just get a good stomp going, you might be able to tumble that box right off the shelf. Okay. So I remember where Joey's tap shoes are. They're back in her room. Let's head back that way. I really like the fancy statues all covered in, like, makeup and stuff. Uh... No? Her tap shoes aren't in here. <sighs> Darn. Okay. Where could her tap shoes be? Do you recommend you grab your strife weapon from the hall closet and up to the attic as quick as you can? You're sticking with that plan for now. Alright, that's understandable. What is this shark thing? Going to Jude's room? Open. He always keeps it locked. Even if he did manage to get in, he'd probably set traps up. Now we're trying to get the gum out of your hair again. Plus, it'd be his pet to deal with. Oh. What's his pet, I wonder? Oh, wait. Were those her tap shoes up there? I don't know. Let's... Head up to the attic real quick. Anything... Uh, a bunch of stuff that should be moved into the attic. There's some toys here that you don't play with much anymore. Basically, a pile of useless trash. Open. It's locked, but you need to get here as soon as you can. You peer through the keyhole. Uh-huh. Weird. What the heck was that thing? How long has it been there? Hey, the attic door's locked. Cripes, forgot about that. Tactical blunder on my part, over. It's fine, no big deal. Just left the safe Just left the safety of my room to be eaten by monsters in the hallway. You know, because my dorky brother sent me to the safety of the wrong side of the locked door. It is not fine, over. Jude. Panic not necessary. Extreme danger possible, however, should acquire a weapon at all haste. We're uh, we'll relay key whereabouts upon weapon retrieval. Over. Ugh, uh, fine. So it is fine. Over. Bye. Over and out. Mm. Okay. But, like, I would like to find... What? What's happening right now? Like, I want to find... The... Okay. Maybe... I'm getting too flustered over this. Alright. Let's look at this again. Box probably has the stuff you need. Actually, your tap shoes might be the solution to this problem. If you could get a good stomp going, you might be able to tumble that box right off the shelf. Okay. Let's be back before when this closet door was shut. Let's head back over here. Uh, from the first. I'll find it. I promise you, I will. Let's head back in here and just. Oh, I'm an idiot. That's tap shoes right there. Equip. You add the tap dance out able tech to your technique. Yep, those are the words that refer to those concepts. You learned them literally just now. 
These will help you if anything you need to shake up or shake off, or if you're just in the mood to shake it. Alright, cool. Let's get on out of here then. Over here. Back to... Oh yeah, right there. Alright, let's tap dance. Tap dance on Joey. Uh, tap dance. Can we close this up? Yeah, and cool. Yeah, that's my girl. All right, let's search this. You pick through the box and find your flashlight and an old pair of ballet slippers. These will come in handy. Oh, hey, there are some pet treats in here too. You could get. Yeah, you keep ca uh, caches of these all over. Never know when you'll need it to treat a pet. Go ahead and try your flash flashlight. Click, click, click. No dice. Another battery problem? You open up. Wait, there were no batteries in here at all. Just a bunch of stupid pogs. Dang it, Jude. You found my old strife weapon. Guess what? It's full of your stupid pogs. Crap, forgot about those. Please keep safe. Over. Fine. Okay, but I'm not going to take especially good care of them. Please protect Mulder at all costs. Over. Ugh, you and Mulder, the Scully Pog is obviously where it's at. Team's unacceptable to them. Safe, she's yours, over. Still need to get you to the attic, over. For safety, right? Well, I'm trusting you, I guess. Appreciate that, over. Although, so far, it hasn't really paid off. Joey, please just head. Ah, just need you to head to the trophy room, over. Oh, gross, I hate that place. Why does he have a special trophy room when our whole house is just his dumping ground for whatever garbage he picks up on his stupid adventures? We'll find key to attic there. Mysterious whims of absent father not relevant. Fine. Over and out. And nothing. So, head to the trophy room. Affirmative over. Got it. Over and out. Alright. I think the trophy room's over here then. Aw. Aw! Oh, look at Jake! <laughs> Some great photo portraits. Most of your Time to take a closer look. Okay. Aw! Oh. I see you and Jude have a lot of fun memories with your babysitter, but now it's probably more the <gasps> Their ba Aww. Their babysitter's Roxy. And Roxy's a drunk. Okay, I get it. Everything's making more sense. This is Ooh. This guy, what's he so happy about anyway? His expression probably made more original context, there's no way to say. Let's keep heading on down. Oh, uh oh. Well, it seems the power is out. This should make the trophy room quite an adventure, which is to say, not quite the adventure you wish you were having right now. I'm sorry, Joey. I wish things were better for you. Uh, this looks trophy roomy. Uh, oh. That is an ugly chair. What's going on with this lady over here? Ladies, in these paintings are eerily beautiful, although maybe everyone will look like that in blue. The lamp. Goodness, you seem to meet the lady who modeled... You'd like to meet the lady who modeled for it one day. Okay. Uh, let's keep on walking. Don't really want to get near that. Uh, clock. Boy, your PA really gets into a tax story, huh? Oh, pa, I'm an idiot. This light makes you blush brighter than the lamp itself. Aw, that's cute. Uh, ooh, that's a thing. The sound you've heard since you entered the kitchen grows louder as you approach. The awful static is like nothing you've ever heard, and you want to go back to not hearing it as soon as possible. You turn the radio off. Okay, ooh, Rimbo. Your babysitter has just really atrocious taste. You're only 14, you can even tell that this is just really crummy. Babysitter sounds like a bad person. Friends. Alright, let's see what's going on here then. It's the mummy they were talking about? Look. This mummy has... Oh. This mummy is currently blocking your access to the rest of the house. It has never been since your pa left him here months ago. Alright, let's move him. Yeah, not a lot of a chance you're not being able to move Pharaoh Napoleon over here. Um. Alright. We got a puzzle going on. Oh, tube highway. You're not okay, so Jude's pet's probably just a hamster then. Well, it would seem the power's out. Classic psyops over. 
What? Credit where it's due. Best way to de destabilize countermeasures. Leave you in the dark. Literally over. Not literally. It's still like late afternoon. I can see fine. And you should have no trouble getting to the trophy room then over. Fine then, Mr. Mission Control. Yes, great. Over and out. Hmm. Well. Let's see what we can find. What's in the fridge? Snack? It's empty. Food shopping has become sporadic of lately. Turns out tipsy babysitters are fairly bad at responsibilities. <sighs> Open. With all those monsters out there, you think you'll leave it shut? Also, don't exactly know how this one's short of breaking it. Okay. Sweet loyal dog loves that flap. Jude used to like it too when he was younger. He still likes it. <laughs> Alright. Maybe something in this drawer over here? With the power out, you're going to need some sort of light source. <sighs> okay. Let's head back to the other room. See what's going on. Oh, there's a door there. Can I enter it? Let's <sighs> click here. Go through this door. Oh. You hear something breathing. Something else you mean besides you. She was really giving you the creeps. Alright. Let's just leave that place then. Just as you pass into the living room, pulling the door shut behind you, it shuddered. Something s heavy and wet slammed against it from the other side. Can't see anything in the trophy room. It's way too dark. Odd. Rest of the house navigable? Over. Considered using the flashlight? Over. You mean the one we feel with your pogs? That flashlight? Joey, please. Over. No dwelling on the past. Over. Doesn't matter anyway. Something's blocking the door to the trophy room now. Something? Over. Yeah. I'm not sure what. Strange. For now, focus on restoring power before it set sunsets completely. Oh geez, you're right. Okay. I'll do that. Thanks for the reminder. Need electricity to retrieve key anyway, over. What? Can't discuss over an unsecured channel, over and out. Alright. I think that's a pretty solid spot to end the first episode of Hive Swap. Hive Swap, I'm sorry. Um, sorry if this first episode wasn't the best, you know, again, just trying the, the whole solo thing. So, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and tell, tell me how I'm doing by myself, you know, let me know. And we'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.